welcome to your quick and rejuvenating recovery yoga flow. We are here today in beautiful British Columbia, Canada with a yoga practice that is perfect for you to do anytime you crave a deep stretch and muscle soreness release. This practice is going to be all about breathing and letting go of any tension, soreness and stiffness out of the body and also out of the mind. So if you're ready to feel good and release all that no longer serves you, grab your mat and let's begin. All right, my friends, let's begin today seated at the front of your mat with your feet in front of you. Placing your hands underneath your knees, take an inhale, arching the back, look up. And then as you exhale, bring the chin down around through the upper back. A few times like this in our seated cat cow variation, inhale up, exhale, extending through the elbows, allow the chin to drop down to your chest. And again, deep breath in, look up, exhale, chin down, extend through the elbows. Great, and then come back to neutral, place the hands behind you, fingers pointed towards the front of your mat, go ahead and lift into a bridge position. So you're lifting your pelvis, squeezing your glutes here. Allow the head to come back so you feel that nice stretch through the neck. Really opening the frontal area of your body here. Good, and then slowly sit back down. And then make your way all the way onto your back, bringing both knees into your chest, extending both legs up to the sky. Flex your feet and just feel this nice gentle stretch through the hamstrings first and then bending your knees, grabbing the outsides of your feet and pulling your knees down towards the ground into happy baby. In this posture, you may rock side to side if that feels good on your hips, or maybe you just wanna stay centered and breathe. Wherever you are, feel free to close your eyes in this moment and just take that awareness internally. Notice how you're feeling here, how your body is feeling, how your hips are feeling in this posture. Wherever you feel tension or resistance, deepen your breath a little bit more. Bring more oxygen into that area of your body so you can let go. Beautiful. Just take an inhale. And exhale. Try to get those knees close towards the mat. And again, inhale. Exhale. Let it go. Great, now slowly extending both legs and then arms down, rock yourself up and then make your way over to your plank position first. So step back, coming into plank and then lift your hips up into your downward facing dog. Good, let's just take a moment here and breathe it out. Allow those heels to come down and then take your left foot and just cross it over your right. You can rest the toes on top of the mat and really think about pushing the right heel down towards the floor. So we're really focusing on one leg, feeling that release not only in the calf muscle, but also in your hamstring. Beautiful. And then switching legs, the so same thing. Now the other leg comes across, just resting the top of your foot and then pressing the other heel as close to the mat as you can really opening through the upper body and allowing that hamstring to release remembering to breathe as much as you can good come back to neutral downward facing dog just breathe it out one more time and then wave your body down towards the knees and then making sure the hips are over top of the knees come down with your chest and then place the palms of your hands together bending your elbows in this puppy pose variation what we're doing here is not only opening your chest and your shoulders, but also getting deeper into the tricep area. So if you've been doing a very heavy workout on the upper body, this should feel really good for you. Or perhaps you've been doing some sort of manual labor or gardening, whatever it is, just allow this posture to release any soreness or tension you may feel in this particular area of your body. Resting your forehead on the mat and just breathe. Breathe as deeply as you can. Good. Just inhale. And with your exhalation, allow yourself to relax deeper and deeper into this posture. Making sure that your hips are continuing to stay over top of your knees. Inhale. 
and exhale, let go of your elbows. Slowly make your way over to your hands and knees position. And then take your right arm up and then thread that right arm all the way through until your right shoulder comes down onto the floor, reaching your left arm towards the front of your mat. Your forehead is grounded. This posture is called thread the needle. So we're threading that right arm through. So again, focusing on that upper body here, really letting go of any tension in your shoulder, in your entire arm. Just breathe deeply. The rest of your body is still in that same posture that it was before, hips over knees. Inhale. And exhale. Great. Come back to neutral. And let's take it to the other side. So same thing. Now left arm reaches all the way through. Good. From here, your right arm reaches towards the front of your mat. And just begin to relax into this posture. So the more you can bring that right shoulder down towards the ground, the deeper you should feel the stretch through the left arm. So do as much adjustment as you need to really find that sweet spot. Feeling that release through your arm, through your shoulder, your upper back. Remember, you can close your eyes in these postures and really go inward, bringing your breath into your body. Awesome. Come back to center. Drop your chest all the way down now into our puppy pose. This time to go deeper, see if you can look up towards the front of your mat. So instead of resting your forehead, you're almost like you're resting your chin. Stay here and breathe deeply. And slowly come back to center. Great job. Come back to your tabletop, tuck your toes, and then lift back up into your downward facing dog. Let's take an inhale. And as you exhale, walk your hands and feet towards the very front of your mat, bending your knees and slowly rolling up to standing, reaching both arms up to the sky. And then as you exhale, come on down, maybe halfway, or you can just reach for the back of your knees, or maybe you reach down towards the ankles, or perhaps you're comfortable, grab your big toes with two fingers and begin to drive your body closer towards those legs, standing forward fold. Really important to remember that you're folding from your hips here, not from your lower back. You are feeling that curve in the lower back. Bend your knees slightly and readjust. Good. And just allow your head to be super heavy here. Feeling that nice decompression of your upper back, of your neck. Inhale deeply. And as you exhale, let yourself relax. Let that chest get closer towards your thighs, towards your legs. Inhale and exhale. Great. And again, inhale and exhale. Stay with your breath. Enjoy it. Be aware of exactly where you feel that extra tension within your body. Can you pinpoint it and then can you breathe deeper into it? Good. Let go of your ankles or your toes and slowly come back up. Reach both arms up to the sky and then exhale, hands to your heart. Shift your right over to your left foot at this time. And then bend your right knee and see if you can bring your right heel towards your right glute muscle. You can use both hands if you can find the balance, or you can use one hand and even hold on to something if you need to. What we're doing here is really think about tucking that tailbone under, keeping your knees together and feeling this deep stretch through your quadricep. And then from here, bring your right knee up towards your chest, ankle on top of your left knee, and begin to sit down into our standing pigeon pose. Getting low with your chest, perhaps even placing your hands onto the floor, for a little bit more support. The deeper you go, the more you can open that right knee to the side, the deeper of a stretch you will feel in your right glute muscle. Deep breath in. Exhale out. And again, deep breath in. And exhale. Slowly hands back to your heart. Bring your chest up. Bring that right knee up 
step it all the way back to your high lunge and then drop your back knee to the floor low lunge reach both arms up to the sky open up your chest open your heart slowly release the hands over to your knee if you wish and continue to open up through that chest so really opening up the body allowing the front knee to stay on top of your ankle while at the same time pushing your hips forward so you're feeling that stretch in your psoas in your hip flexor the back toes can stay tucked under if that feels good beautiful and then inhale hold it here exhale go deeper really allow yourself to enjoy this posture inhale reaching both arms up again exhale hands down this time shift your weight back extend the front knee flex your foot and allow your forehead to come down towards the knee have split posture we're keeping your hips square here so what you want to do is pull that left hip slightly back and think of pushing the right hip slightly forward so that little bit of realignment will allow your hips to stay square which will give you the opportunity to go deeper into the stretch just breathe deeply flex the front foot so you're engaging the calf muscle as well really letting go of any tension in that front leg inhale and exhale inhale again exhale beautiful one more inhale exhale come back to center now reaching both arms back up or over towards your knee tuck your back toes lift the back knee at this time into your crescent high lunge arms are reaching up and then dive the hands down step back into your downward facing dog beautiful we're gonna go right into the next side lift the heels bend your knees go ahead and take two steps or maybe four steps if needed coming back into your standing forward fold come on up halfway or maybe all the way down just see what feels good now for the second round if you are comfortable with grabbing your toes then try to bring the entire palm of your hand underneath your foot this will allow you to go even deeper if you're not there today no worries just work on holding onto the ankles or even maybe the backs of your knees wherever you are is exactly where you need to be don't worry about what it looks like just worry about how it feels and it should feel good so just breathe and let go allow those hamstrings to release allow your body to relax make sure you're feeling no pressure in the lower back here all the work is happening from the hips you are folding from your hips great release the hands and slowly come on up to standing arms reach up to the sky exhale shift your weight over to your right foot at this time grab your left ankle with your left hand your right hand can stay in front of your chest or you can reach and grab that ankle with the other hand as well and then think about bringing your knees together tucking that tailbone under so you don't have an arch in the lower back and then just breathe and feel that release through the quadricep good and then let go arms reach back up left knee up left ankle top of the right knee and slowly bring yourself down into that standing pigeon hands can come down onto the mat just to give you a little bit more support and then allow your heart to come closer towards that foot so getting nice and low really deep into that left glute muscle if you've been doing a lot of lower body exercises or perhaps hiking running this should feel really good on your glutes good inhale and exhale feel that release hands come back to your chest lift your chest up lift the left knee up step all the way back and then drop that left knee to the ground reaching both arms up to the sky hands over towards that right knee open up your body here breathing deeply good 
Now making sure that front knee is on top of your ankle so you're not passing the front toes. Hips are square, feeling that nice release in your left psoas, your left hip flexor. Deep breath in. Exhale out, open up that chest, open up that heart. Focusing on the breathing, reaching both arms up again. We can release the back toes, hands onto the mat. Shift your weight all the way to the back knee, flex your front foot, and allow your body to slowly release over top of that straight leg. Now, if your right leg is extended, this is where we adjust, and you wanna just slightly move that right hip back and then slightly push that left hip forward. Now, very, very tiny micro movements, not drastic, but this slight adjustment will allow your hips to stay square, which will allow you to go deeper in this posture. And now we breathe. With each exhalation, we give the body the permission to let go. Let it relax. Release all tension, all that no longer serves you out of that leg. Release it all with that breath. In and out. Great job. Slowly coming back to your low lunge. Tuck your back toes, arms reach up to the sky, and then lift the back knee off the mat, high crescent lunge. Drop the hands down. Step back into your downward facing dog. Beautiful work, you guys. Inhale here. Exhale, drop down to the knees. And sit back over to your heels into your child's pose. You can keep your knees together or apart, whatever feels good on your body here. Arms reaching forward towards the front of your mat. Allow the chest to come down. Just breathing in deeply and exhale, let it go. Breathe in deeply and exhale, let it go. Giving your body the permission to relax at this time. Close your eyes and just focus on that gentle inhalation and exhalation. Thank yourself for taking this moment today out of your busy day and doing something good and rejuvenating and healing for your body. Inhale and exhale. Slowly roll yourself up to seated. Bring your knees together, feet together. Reach both arms up to the sky and exhale. Bring your hands over towards your heart, bowing down to your heart and thanking yourself for this practice. Thank you so much for joining me today. I send you love and light. Namaste. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, it would mean the world to us if you click that subscribe button to help our content rise to the top. Thanks again, and we'll see you soon.